Our next claimant extensively modified a 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan with a view to turning it into a rally car. This is not so far beyond the realms of possibility. The vehicle is heavy, yes, but with all-wheel drive and rally-tuned springs and dampers, it could be done. The claimant's attempt resulted, of course, in complete failure, but I am confident that ours will not. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 yards, turn sharp left. In 200 yards, turn sharp right. In 100 yards, turn sharp left. calculating route. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Calculating route. In 400 yards, turn right. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. yards. Turn left. Turn left. around when it is safe to do so. All in all, a highly adequate rally car. And we should not discount the psychological effect upon the competition of being overtaken by a collector's item. Ah, greetings once again. So, we have our modified Chevy 150. Now we must test the claim that it will make a competitive rally car. I am confident in the vehicle's performance and I have... 
Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive, hold the rear end tight. That did not sound as it should. You see how those wide tires and reduced weight handle the corners? The claimant failed to grasp this. Rough ground. Trust the improved suspension. Hard left now. Stay on the road. Now, on the decline, suspension, braking, and steady nerves. Such power in the big Chevrolet engine. This the claimant grasped a little too well, I think. Yeah, yeah, most satisfactory. Yourself and the car. The claimant will be pleased to know we have succeeded where they catastrophically failed. Or perhaps they will not. <laughs> <laughs>